makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today I want to talk to you about, well, the 2nd of November, which is today. So in Mexico today, they celebrate uh, Dia de los Muertes, which is the Day of the Dead, where you celebrate the life of those who have passed away by remembering them. Um, so I figured I'd do something for this particular day because we also celebrate it here in Malta, but in Malta it's a bit more depressing. Now first I was going to print this skull, which is printed on the Prusa Mark III, which turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I was gonna get uh, like a 3D pen and sort of paint it up. But in the meantime, um, 3Dissimo sent me their new multi-pro kit, which is not just a 3D pen, but it has other tools like a foam cutting tool, it has a soldering iron, it has, a, um, it has an ironing tool as well. So I figured it would be a shame to just use the 3D pen and paint this. So I kind of figured using this skull and use a 3D pen would kind of be good, but it wouldn't show the potential of what you can do with a whole kit like this. So I decided to do one from scratch. So the first thing I did was grab a bunch of foam, which I have a lot of at the moment, and I glued a few pieces together in order to have enough surface area to sort of be the exact size or similar to this 3D printed skull. Then I kind of outlined the profile uh, of the skull on a couple of sides of the foam just to get an idea of the shape and I use their cutting tool. Now what cuts the foam with this tool is not heat because it, it doesn't actually get hot. It's more like ultrasonic cutting where the more you press, you can actually kind of hear it. Um, it feels like it's vibrating, but it's not. It's kind of hard to explain, but it does make life really easy and it, it just cuts foam like butter. The wire that cuts the foam is really, really thin. You have quite a bit of spare in the kit. Uh, however, I did manage to go quite a few through quite a few of them because I was forcing it too much and it was snapping in half but once that was done it was just a matter of kind of like refining the the end shape um, I use the ironing tool just to recess the eyes I probably shouldn't have because you know foam heat toxic fumes but I was in a well ventilated area I wouldn't suggest you do it oh, this was just a one-time thing for me once that was done obviously I cannot 3d print directly on foam so I covered the uh, the model the foam model in um, in masking tape um, and I covered it completely in order to have sort of like a base where I can do the exoskeleton let's call it for the skull so I swapped out the multi tool for the 3d pen inserted some white filament and I started going through the outside of the skull just to have have sort of like a base structure um, which I can work with. First I printed one half of it um, and I pulled that off very gently uh, in order to keep it intact. Then I drew the other half after marking where I had to start and finish. And once that was done, I took both halves, I put them together and kind of just welded the seam line in place in order to have like a full model. Next was the inundating task of having to actually create a surface throughout all, all of the skull. And this took about eight to nine hours to do. It took quite a while. Now, in the process of doing this, I had a small issue with the 3 dcmo pen uh, tool. Now, the problem was that this was taking way too long. So I sped up the multi-tool and it started grinding. Um, eventually it stopped pushing filament. I tried uh, changing the filament. I think I might have damaged the gear. So I think from that end, I think 3D Simo should uh, uh, fix the firmware on the, on the pen tool in order not to have people um, speed up the pen because if that is an issue, then if you have the option to speed up the pen, um, people are gonna do it. So anyway, what I did was I grabbed my uh, 3D Simo kit uh, pen that I got last year uh, because that is my absolute workhorse. It prints really fast, much faster than the 3D Simo Multi Pro pen. Um, so I've managed to just power through and cover the whole skull. After doing a few accents, here and there in white I changed once again to the ironing tool and I kind of just wanted to uh, finish off anything any connected lines that were on the skull where I stopped and started with the 3d pen I just wanted to smooth it out I wasn't expecting it to become like 
completely perfect. Although if I had the time and patience, I probably could have because it, it does really do the job really well. But seeing as most of this is going to be covered, I figured, you know, that's enough. I just wanted to smooth out some edges a little bit. Next was the fun part. And uh, I didn't know exactly where to start or how to start, but I decided to go with the eyes and work my wear from there. I got as many colors as I could possibly have. Some of them are actually neon, so they would, they would glow uh, really nice in the dark with some UV light. And I spent about another, possibly about six hours um, drawing this. I first, I tried to do some lines to follow the lines, but then I couldn't. In fact, as you can see, it's, it's not exactly symmetrical, but it, it was coming along so great and the colors just pop out of it. And it was a really fun project and it turned out so great. I'm so happy. No, it's not perfect, but it was such a fun project and it turned out so colorful, much better than I actually expected it to, considering that I've never done anything like this with a 3D pen, um, which does make me appreciate how fast 3D printers actually are when compared to a 3D pen. And there you have it. To be or not to be. This is such an awesome thing. Um, it's so colorful. It's so, I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks absolutely incredible. At some point I got lost on what designs I want to do. I got a few reference photos here and there online just to get a few ideas, but I think it turned out absolutely great. I'm really happy. And seeing as this is a celebration of the people have who have passed in our lives, who have made an impact, this represents a one person that had the most colorful personality who has changed my life um, and I'll be forever grateful. So yeah, this this is me celebrating that person's life. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank 3 d Simo for sending me the Multi Pro pen, but I do suggest for them uh, to work a little bit on that firmware for the 3D pen. All the other tools work exceptionally well and I can see myself actually using them and any other maker that uses, especially foam. Uh, it makes life much easier. Uh, they have more extensions coming out um, uh, along the line, like bigger uh, cutting foam tools. So yeah, I will leave links in the video description. If you want to check them out. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.